Master Pages is relatively simple. However, the process for figuring out how to nest Master Pages can be very complex. Before nesting Master Pages, it is important to 100% understand your nesting plan. Draw a diagram, communicate your plan in words, ask someone to double check your logic, etc. until you are sure your game plan will work. Before we learn the steps to nest Master Pages, let's walk through another example of when to use a nested Master Page. Our example will be, we are designing a 24 page booklet. All pages will contain page numbers, some pages will contain a yellow background, some will have a pink background, and others will have a white background, aka no background at all. We can create the following master pages to meet the needs of this project. Master A will contain automated page numbering, Master B will have the yellow background, and Master C will have a pink background. There's no master page needed for the white background, if we're going to have a white background, we can just use Master A for those pages. Next, we can identify which master pages need to be grouped to achieve our goals. In our example, we want every single page in our document to include page numbers. That means every master page created after Master A will need to be based on Master A so that the page numbers from Master A flow automatically onto those other master pages. Our updated master pages will be as follows. Master A will contain automatic page numbering. Master B will be something called based on Master A, which means that it will contain the yellow background that's on Master B, plus the page numbers that will flow onto it from Master A. The same thing will happen with Master C. It will be based on Master A. It will have the pink background that we create on Master C, and then the page numbers that automatically flow onto it from Master A. And again, there's no additional master page needed for the white background. The last thing to do is to determine which master pages should be applied to which pages in your document. Any white pages will be linked to master A, any pages that should have a yellow background will be linked to master B, and any pages that have, should have a pink background will be linked to master C. Now that we've identified which master pages need to be created and how they need to be nested, we can create them. The basic steps necessary to create a nested master page are very similar to creating a basic master page. The first step is to create the new master pages. So if we need three, master A, B, and C, you need to create them. These are the same exact options that I provided earlier in the slideshow. So if you're comfortable creating a new master page, make three new master pages named master A, master B, and master C, and then move on to the next slide. If you need a little review, you can create new master pages in a number of ways. Uh, you can right click within the master page section, the top half of the pages panel, and then choose new master. You can choose new master from the options buyout menu on the pages panel. You can select any existing master page and then press the new page icon in the bottom right hand corner of the pages panel. You can drag and drop any existing actual page from the bottom half of your pages panel onto the top half where the master pages are and it will duplicate it and create a master page from it or you can select any existing actual page in your document and then via the pages panel flyout menu you can choose new master page. The second step to create nested master page is to modify the based on master option within the new master page or the master page options dialog box. In our example you would want to make master B and master C based on master A so that everything from master A automatically flows on to those master pages. You can create a based on master option in a number of ways. Choose the one that you like best and then give it a try. You can make the change within the new master dialog box when creating a new master page. So when you create a new master, you get the new master page dialog box that automatically appears. You can relaunch it and when you relaunch it, it's called the master options dialog box, even though it's the same dialog box. And you can launch that dialog box by selecting a master page and choosing Master Options 4 from the Options Flyout menu on the Pages panel. You can also launch the Master Options dialog box by right-clicking any master page and then choosing Master Options 4 from the Flyout menu. Just be careful because that last option, um, it only applies, or the last two options, it only applies to the page that you have selected. So if you're trying to create Master C based on Master A, but you right click master B, it's not going to help you with master C. 
In this example, a master contains automatic page numbers, and you can see that on my little screenshot here. It's represented by the capital letter A in the bottom right-hand corner. Notice that there's two different A's on my screenshot. The ones that are circled are the same A that you would see on your regular page numbers that indicates that page is based on a certain master page. And in this case, master B and master C are based on master A. But the capital letter A in the bottom right hand corner of the master A actually represents automatic page numbering. And because we're on a master page, it doesn't have a page number. So it just says A for A master. If you need a little review in inserting uh, automatic page numbering, you can go to the type menu, choose insert special character, marker, and then current page number. We will cover this again in a future lecture in our class. Uh, so the automatic page number numbering is represented by the letter A on A master. Then if you look at B master and C master, they have been created to add different colored backgrounds. So master B has the yellow background and master C has the pink background to various pages within the design. However, I wanted all pages to contain page numbers, AKA all of the content that I put on master A. So I set up master B and master C to be based on master A as represented by the small letter A in the top of each master page so that they would also include the page numbering. Notice how because master B is based on master A, it now has a capital letter B in the bottom right hand corner and master C has a capital letter C. The, the bigger of those letters represents the automatic page numbering and because it is on master A, it is an A, but if I apply it to page six, it will turn into an automatic page number six. On master B, it's a capital B just because it's on master B and on master C, it's a capital C. Once I apply these master pages, master A, B, and C to the correct pages in my design, and then I navigate to a particular page, and in this example here, I navigated to the spread for pages two and three. Uh, in the actual design, you can see that where master B has been applied, the background is yellow, and it also has the automatic page numbering. And where master C has been applied, it has the pink background and the automatic page numbering. 